Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. We've talked about a lot of ways to bear false witness, but what about propaganda? First, of course, we need to understand what propaganda is. It's important to understand that propaganda isn't always false. The dictionary definition of propaganda, in fact, implies that some propaganda is true. Ideas or statements that are often false or exaggerated and that are spread in order to help a cause, a political leader, a government, etc. Often false or exaggerated means not always. Now, based on what we've already said about false witness, propaganda can qualify as false witness in a couple of ways. If the statements are false and intended to cause real harm to certain people, for example, that would be against the Eighth Commandment. If they're true, but you have no objective reason for spreading the harmful information, that's also a violation. If you mislead others with them with the intent of causing harm to others, again, it's a violation. The common thread, I think you can see, is the intent to cause harm. So what is harm in this context? Harm, in this case, means that the person is worse off than they were before. For example, if they're being deceived, they've been harmed. If they've been led astray, they've been harmed. If they become more likely to sin as a result of your propaganda, they've been harmed. If they've suffered a loss of money or reputation, that's harm too. However, Propaganda may be not false witness in a couple of ways, too. First, even if the propaganda causes harm to certain people or organizations, you may still reveal it as long as the information itself is true and you have a valid, objective reason for revealing that information. This means a reason that's independent of how people feel. For example, it's moral to spread propaganda against a media or political organization which is trying to encourage people to do evil, provided that the propaganda is true. If it's false, it's still immoral, because the ends don't justify the means. Secondly, you may be spreading propaganda which doesn't harm people, and in fact helps them. People who teach reading, writing, mathematics, logic, science, etc. are all doing this. In these kinds of cases, propaganda is clearly not wrong. So, in conclusion, propaganda can be a violation of the Eighth Commandment, but there are situations in which it's not, and in which it can even be helpful and useful to people in learning new things. Next time, how does a commitment to the truth affect our ability to worship God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.